Good morning, everybody. It's uh, Friday morning, and I'm gonna dump the load of garbage first. Then I'm going to that false creek job that we did before, where we uh, stripped out that condo and took out the center of walls and all that. We're gonna, uh, the guy left some metal and some steel studding and some wire. So we're gonna grab that, and then we're going to the commercial job and we're gonna try to get those windows out. Never done those windows before like that. Normally, um, we uh, either smash them out, you know, like if it's a demo or something, right? We're gonna try to take them out carefully, but the problem is you have to get the window out first to get the screws out because the glass, the screws are like on the edge of the glass. So it's been, been kind of tough this one here. And I showed the builder and he says, yeah, it's the old design. The new design is a little different there. So what they did is they built the frame and everything screwed all up put the glass in to put the trim in there to hold the glass in so and, and even the trim is really hard to get off we're basically prying the trim and it's bending off instead of it click, click clipping out it's heavily glued in there with some tar so anyways uh it looks like a bit of a challenge here hopefully uh, we can uh, figure it out uh he's gonna get two suction cups later that may help also a little bit of pry a little bit of suction cups so we'll try to pull the windows out first and then uh, dismantle the frame it'd be a lot lighter too so we got to take the glass out regardless so we can scrap that commercial window and the door and the door frame and all that so should be good should get a little more scrap here be uh, that stuff's probably what's well, 60 cents a pound or pretty close to okay let's continue this adventure hospital goes back really early got some old churches out here that's the easy hydro building turn into condo wall center the church is in Vancouver this is uh, downtown Vancouver so Churches, like you say, uh, go back pretty early. Probably like second generation churches. Here's the YMCA in that building. They renovated an old building and made it into a newer one. Here's Robson Street. That's where all your high-end clothing stores are and shoe stores. It's called Robson. There's Lululemon right there. That's an old building right up there. Really old. Look at these tiny little buildings way up there. See that? Super tiny but really tall. Real estate's just so much money here. The buildings are getting skinnier and taller. That's Hotel Vancouver, right? Yep. Yeah, the big one there with the big cop roof, there's Hotel Vancouver. The second Hotel Vancouver. Yeah, the first one they tore down, the second one. But it still goes back to the uh, uh, 20s, I think. There's Robinson Street, right there, Robinson Street. There's Tiffany Company right there in the corner. Pretty, pretty 
tall buildings here. We got a lot of buildings out here. Church right there in the corner. These are all heritage buildings now. But uh, no, there's only I think three or four churches downtown here that are stone, stone type buildings that are old. Tall buildings way up there. Joey up there. Uh, beyond there is Coal Harbor. Basically starts from there and goes all the way uh, to the left. I'll show you that after we. Broadband TV right there. Uh, if you want to get into um, uh, YouTube uh, subscribers, you can uh, join their network. Broadband TV. They do a lot of YouTube support, but. I personally think you know you're best to stay stay independent unless you want to give 15-20% of your uh, profit to them so you'd be making 45% four, goes YouTube 15-20% goes to them you're only making like 30% or less so no point okay let's continue here lots of build lots of we have lots of high rises here downtown we're not a big, big city, but just a lot of high rises, a lot of big buildings. The fancy colored glass, the tinted blues, and there's a different, different tint there alone. Mirror tints. This is all Coal Harbor. It's all been renovated and redone. It used to be like shipyards and all that, docks and old, old docking areas. They're all gone, all torn down. Everything's gone. It's all high rises here now. Uh, kind of um, I don't know what kind of color that'd be. Bit of odd colored glass. It's funny how these inter intersections cross. Cross this way, that way, that way, this way, that way. It's one of those funny roads that kind of went all to one area. Oh yeah. Yeah, my buddy was just saying the land here, a white spot land, uh, that whole land sold for like $400 million. Just that parcel land is maybe an acre a little bigger or something like that, but $400 million. That's Vancouver real estate for you. These buildings are worth a fortune. Here, it's probably maybe an acre, about 400 million. Yeah. This all Coal, Coal Harbor here. All these buildings here are within 20 years old. Chevron. Yeah. Right there. Right. We're approaching uh, Stanley Park shortly. Uh, this park that's come up, Stanley Park. It goes back to like 1889 or something. It's pretty early. And then you got Demon Street here that goes to English Bay if you want to the end of that road. It's got a Vancouver Yacht Club, everything's out here. We got a marina out here. I'll show you this house here. I have to get to the next lane here before I get stuck in the park. There's a house here. It's got its own elevator and everything right in the corner here. This is someone's house here. It's not even an apartment building. Right here, it's a house. And that building right there is a house. Wow. There's the uh, marinas here for Stanley Park. I think that's Lost Lagoon, it's right over here. It's a little bit overgrown, you can't tell, but this is Stanley Park right now. We're driving through Stanley Park to go on a Lionsgate Bridge. And that bridge goes, I think, 1936, I think they opened it up. There's the flower gardens over here. Beautiful park here, the nice area. Millions of people come here every year, all tourists, it's a tourist trap, but a really nice park. I'll show you the bridge here in a, in a few yeah, minutes. My buddy was telling me, uh, see all these new guardrails, they're all new. Uh, someone actually f fell off a curb and got hit by a bus. 
uh, probably passed away, but what they did is they put all these guardrails here now. They've never had these guardrails before. So that's all fairly new. I don't know, maybe the last five years maybe. It looks pretty new. Maybe it's even before that. So this is kind of a weird. It's going to go into one lane now. See, it's an X there, it's a yellow. So you got to be cautious. So it's going to be a one lane, two coming out. It's going to be a one lane or something. That's why I like driving these roads. It's really confusing and very dangerous if you don't know the city. See, I have the arrows green. See, the other one being X. I think that lane's going to disappear. It won't disappear. It'll just be a, you'll have to go to the right lane. But anyways, we're getting closer. Oh, I should put a, they even put a handrail on the other side there too. Off the edge of the park. Bridge should be coming up in a second here. Right, right around the corner here. It's a suspension bridge that goes back really early. They did a renovation about, I think, 15 years ago. They replaced all decking and the cables and all that. So they redid it. But it's one of the first bridges that were here to link North Vancouver. I think it's 1936, I believe. Prior to that, you have to take a boat across. Uh, here it is, really nice looking bridge. And the problem is, it's uh, the largest cruise ship around that's coming here. They got to get a really low tide here to get to make it, otherwise they won't make it. See how it goes, the X now. But you can kind of daydream and go to the next lane if you're not paying attention. But look at this uh, view here. Look how low the rails are. Oh, look at that view, huh? Beautiful. That sample side over there, West Vancouver. What a big sailboat there, huh? Wow. It's a nice looking bridge. It's all, like I say, it's all brand new, totally brand new, redecking everything. It's basically a new structure. Uh, except the vertical part. It's just the new cables and new decking. It's all changed. Getting closer destination. We'll see at the job. Yeah, uh, that's some of the metal right now. Uh, half of that is from the other job that we picked up, a commercial job on the Falls Creek, that uh, apartment. These are my boxes. They got wire inside. It's like breakage almost. Cast iron. A whole thing of wire. Uh, Luminix. And then some more wire here. I'm just cutting down the stuff right now, separating a bit. A little more to do. Copper there. The BX. I'm going to salvage those uh, exits, breakers, and so on. I pulled out the one frame. Now working on the top little windows. Those little, little clips are pretty hard to get out there. These little side trim here. Right here, very hard to get out. We're really glued in big time. I'm pulling the carpet off the stairs right now. So we're getting a lot of progress here. I need to get this front done today and board it up. So that's our mission today. Uh, we're not taking no garbage, it's only metal today. I have to pick up some metal later at five, so. Five or six, whatever the day goes. Okay, that's it for now. So, so far we got uh, the big one out. We got a lot of ceramic tile off the wall, the guy wanted. Uh, Could be put lots of aluminum, pretty heavy. This commercial's always nice. We took, we took all this tiles all around. Tiles on the bottom. We're gonna take out that window and this to the door. It's getting there. Really tough window frame. Usually it's not that that hard. No, here we cannot loosen it or nothing. It's the glue so uh, severe. Even trying to take out the little clips here impossible. Okay, so what we did is uh, we took the one window out. We cut the top out, and we're gonna pull the bottom out, and we're gonna have three in one. We cannot uh, disassemble it uh, at all because 
the way they built it, the screws are on the uh, opposite side. Well, you can't see it on this one, but they were on the inside where the glass part is. So, anyways, we're gonna work it this way here. I'm gonna get the big bar here and get this one out, dismantle it, and work on the other ones. Okay, yeah, wait. Rolls Royce here. Look at that car there, unbelievable. Wow, look at, look at the inside there. Wow, nice leather interior, leather dash. Or actually wood, sorry. It's leather and wood. Look at that. That's a car, I'll tell you. Well, it's actually signed by David Christopher. Wow, amazing. Uh, where the Rolls Royce uh, emblem is, it's an eagle, gold eagle. It pops up when you start it up. Wow, that's the client side. I finally got most of the windows so we just got the door front now. I'll tell you, man. Definitely got a few cuts on my hands from this. We stripped the side here. We stripped the front, took the boards off. They got to do some structural uh, spit rotted up there. I guess it was leaking over the years. And the seal plates got to be changed, waterproofed, and all that. No, like up. Okay, we got it uh, all glass out, the doors out. So now we're gonna put plywood over front for now. The screws are like four inches long. Okay. Okay, it's 7.30 now. We got uh, everything done that we wanted here for now. We're gonna come back Monday and do the final cleanup. All the metals in the truck. I'll show you the metal in a minute. I'm gonna take these Monday. A few things here. I'll take Monday. Put the final board back. Take the warning tape off. And then we're okay here. Scrap metals for the day. I still gotta pick up scrap metals, I think, one location. So my regular guy calls me once in a while when he cleans his yard. All my uh, aluminum, data, data, BX, big pail of copper, um, the house wire, Luminex, what they call it. Pretty good load. I mean, I need to get that taken off, but it's a little bit stripped. So I get a bigger screwdriver to save that one. That door thing's worth a little bit of money. You may have to clean that door better too, so some things have to separate. And I stripped the wire myself. All the data stuff, I'm not sure. This is cable wire, but it's got copper. Copper center and copper outer. So I'm not sure. I wonder if I can try to strip it, maybe. Mm, might be tough. We'll see. Okay, that's it. I'm just waiting for the guy to move his truck so I can get out of here. It's already at 8 o'clock now. Okay, my final pickup here for the day. Right here, so oh, back of storage, it's probably what 8.30 now. Okay, we're gonna start loading up now.